Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I like to talk about meiosis. However, to talk about meiosis, we kind of have to review and really understand mitosis, and then we'll be able to appreciate the difference between these two processes. Now, briefly stated, meiosis is the cellular division process that results in produce uh, uh, production of gametes. Okay. Now, gametes are sex cells or uh, or the sperm and eggs, for example. So meiosis is the process that, uh, is a process by which gametes are produced, uh, like for example the sperm and the egg. Okay, so it's a cellular division process that results in uh, production of gametes. Okay, now this process of pr producing gametes is very different for, uh, from other cellular division, which occurs in all other cells in the body, a process called mitosis. Okay. For example, I have here for you uh, a, a representation of some epithelial tissue. For example, like in the nasal passages, in your nasal passages, you might have epithelium, or the lining of the, uh, of, of the passages that might look like this. And let's say sometime that this particular cell right here, with that nuclei, if it wanted to divide. If it wanted to divide, that cell, let's, let's kind of cartoon represent it like this, with its nice, healthy looking nuclei over there that cell would go under a process that's called mitosis okay and then it would produce two cells that are basically clones of the uh, of the parent cell they would look exactly uh, like that and they have the same genetic material okay although they don't look like that in my cartoon picture right so this process is called mitosis so mitosis is the process of cell division that occurs in in all cells in the body except for the gamete producing cells okay and so and this results in identical daughter cells okay now we know that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes right like 23 for mom and 23 from from dad and that gives us a total of 46 chromosomes in every single cell of the body this state of having all 46 chromosomes, that's called a diploid state. Okay, when we have all the chromosomes in a cell, that's called a diploid state, diploid state. So in other words, and that's designated as 2N. So when we say 2N, all these terms, when we say 2N, and that's important, that's a diploid state. That's the state of having uh, all the chromosomes uh, in the cell, uh, two pairs, 23 for mom and 20 for dad. So mitosis results in production of two daughter cells that are identical to parent cells and also therefore they are diploid, like they're 2N, which means they have 46 chromosomes in terms of humans. Now, if you go to a plant, plant is not going to have 46 chromosomes, they might have whatever number of chromosomes, etc. right? Different organisms have different number of chromosomes. So it is, in our case then, a diploid cell will have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs, okay? So, mitosis is the cellular division process uh, that occurs in all cells of the body that are going to divide, if they decide to divide, and which results in production of two daughter cells, which are identical to the parent cell, and they are diploid, okay? They are diploid, okay? Now, this, I'd uh, like to, uh, uh, to suggest to you, is a process that's very different that occurs in the production of gametes, and which I shall outline to you next. Now, as you know, uh, we all start out as one cell, okay? One cell. So this, this here represents one cell, or the zygote. So zygote is, is, is like us as one cell, okay? And the zygote has all the genetic cells that, that, that all the future cells are going to have. All the cells in our body first started out as, as, as one cell, and therefore they will have the same genetic material zygote. And zygote is a diploid cell, right? So it's going to have 2N, or it's going to have, in our case, like 46 uh, total chromosomes or 23 pairs. Okay? So uh, this, this is a zygote. Okay? Now, as you know, the, the zygote was a result of com, com, combina, combination or combining of the, the ovum or the egg and 
the sperm. So when they combine, the resultant cell is the zygote. So so this is the uh, this is the egg. Okay, here now this is actually the egg right here. The an egg is surrounded by all these like sis baby sister cells over here that kind of protect it and, uh, and as a result of formation. The the egg itself is is what I have outlined there. So this carries the genetic material of the of the mom in there. Okay, and the sperm carries the genetic material from the dad, and you can you you must clearly understand therefore that a sperm could not be 46 chromosomes and an egg could not be 46 chromosomes because then you would have you know like 92 chromosomes total when they combine right so the the sperm and egg are unique cells they're very unique cells because they don't have 46 chromosomes in fact they only have 23 chromosomes and they both have only 23 chromosomes and this is called a haploid state. Okay, haploid state, or it's just labeled as N. Okay, so both the egg and the sperm, uh, the, or the gametes, are haploid. And when they combine together, they give a diploid zygote. Okay, so if, when an egg is fertilized, it's no longer called an egg. It's called either a fertilized egg or it's called a zygote. So when the sperm and egg combine, they're both haploid cells, okay? And uh, and when the two haploid cells combine, and uh, the, that is result in a diploid or two N cells. Now, meiosis then is the production of gametes from precursor cells, okay? These precursor cell cells, they look nothing like what they're going to end up being, and they are diploid, okay? And the sperm, when it starts out, it looks nothing like a sperm. It looks like a regular average or cell, so to speak, and it's a diploid cell. So meiosis is the process of producing haploid cells from diploid cells, okay? And as you can see, this is very important because uh, sexual reproduction or combining uh, uh, genetic material from one uh, 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 from from two different parents results in genetic diversity, and that's a survival advantage, at least from a pure uh, uh, scientific point of view, for the species. Okay, so sexual reproduction like this results in genetic diversity, and um, uh, but then it requires uh, a very special process that uh, takes diploid cells and turn them into haploid cells by a process of cellular division. And that process is called meiosis. Now, mind you, this phenomenon is extremely uh, unique in the body. The production of gametes only occurs in, um, uh, uh, in, in, in uh, uh, specialized cells. In the female, this occurs in the ovaries, and in the males, this occurs in the testes. These are organs where gametes are produced. And this is the only place in the body that meiosis occurs. And I'm going to tell you one more thing. When the egg and, and the sperm combine, when the genetic material combine, the two nuclei fuse, okay? The nuclei from the mom and the nuclei from the dad fuse. And this process does not occur anywhere else. Usually you cell divide, you know, you know the chromosomes are, uh, um, are, are, are split into two different cells. But fusing of nuclei, like this, fusing of genetic material is a very special process, okay? And this occurs only here in, 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 in this uh, uh, fertilization process. So fusing of the two nuclei from the sperm and egg, the two gametes, um, is, is, uh, is extremely unique phenomena. Now, um, these terms, I just want to clarify, both sperm and egg, these are called gametes, okay? Now, you'll see that um, uh, sexual reproduction also occurs in plants, but uh, they, uh, the, the more generic term is gametes, but to, to help you understand it, it's more simplistically to, uh, to explain in that way. I, I've used the term sperm and egg because everybody kind of appreciates it, uh, 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 that more. Uh, so um, um, the generic term, however, is gametes. So meiosis is a process of producing gametes from diploid cells. And that's the, the major distinction between uh, mitosis, 
which is a process that produces two diploid cells from a diploid cell to identical daughter cells. And meiosis is a process that produces uh, haploid cells from a diploid cells. Okay, and and uh, and hope if you see this in the context of the big picture, it'll help you understand the details uh, of this uh, remarkable phenomenon. And we shall elaborate on this next time. Until then, assalamu alaikum. I mean, assalamu alaikum.